If you looked at the calendar, if you looked at your watch, your cell phone, or your abacus. I'm just joking, not an abacus. But if you looked, you would see it's Tuesday. All day, every day. Not every day, but it's Tuesday this day. And what do we do on Tuesday? The T must tell you. Transformer Tuesday, baby. So, we're going to... Taking a flashback to the 80s again for all the 80 babies, the Gen Xers are here. You got your exclusive Transformers Headmaster's Mind Wipe with his little guy, Vector, the trainer. Or Vector, Vector, whatever his name is. That doesn't, that's neither here or there, man. But before we get into all that, remember, and remember that, and I want to say one thing about that. Thank you guys so much. For all the subscribers, I really, really appreciate it. It went up again this week. We're almost to the gold. I want to say when we hit that thousand, and then the two, and then the three, and the hundred, I want you guys to all be there because you journey with me and you're a part of this. You helped us out. So thank you so much for all that support, and hopefully you guys continue to support and hit that subscribe and those likes. Thank you so much. So... As I said, we have Decepticon Headmaster right here. We'll get into the 80s box. The cool little weapon and the nice little paperwork and everything. But before we get into that, we have two exclusive. That one I know you've seen before. I don't think you saw that one before, so I will show it. Since we have a Decepticon, we have Decepticon Funko Pop. We have a only a GameStop sound wave right there. Whoop, as we... Mind wipe goes for a wipeout. So they're right there. That is the characters that come in that little series right there. But this one, you must say, what? Why does he have that? It is a Nemesis Prime. It is a Funko Pop Shop Limited Edition exclusive. Yes, they do have plastic protective covers on them. So that's our boy Nemesis. And there's the number and everything, so I just wanted to show that. Because he is really cool. And I don't think I've showed him before. So there you go. A little bit of the Nemesis Prime. Funko Pop, if you're into that. A little bit of Funko Pop exclusiveness. Before we get into our boy Mind Wipe over here, you can see the box. It's a little bit rather tattered right there. But hey. It's old. What did you expect, man? <laughs> and it was played with. Oh, look at that. $14.99. I think that's a KB Toy Store sticker, I think. I believe. As you can see there. And on the back there. I don't have the red little thing for the chart back there. And you're just set the con. And it has the little built-in spec meter that is inside his chest as well. So we'll go into that. I like showing these little things. I always think they're cool to show. So there you have. You have the... Teletron, the D, the VHS, I know what VHS is, right? Yep, video cassettes. And then we have Ratchet, Mirage, Reflector, and Thundercracker. Oh, and we have Sunstreaker and Wheeljack over here. You just collect your points and mail in for those. And, of course, if you don't have the instructions in it, you can take a look and pause for the calls on this one. And check out these instructions right here exclusively for you. As I open them up. I like the booklets back then. They're kind of... It was kind of basic. But kind of cool. So there you see it right there. All his little functions as he transforms and changes. And I'll just put that to the side for a second there. Boom, over there. So he is a bat. He is Mind Wipe the Bat, a vampire bat. He wipes your brain, I guess. So you can see, I always thought he, I always felt like he looked like a radio because of these two speakers over there. Hey, it's an 80s toy, right? So I'm doing, doing over here. So we'll take a look see, look see over here. The head, that already bothered me about this one. The head didn't have anything on the back. They should have at least disclosed that, if anything else. They should have put something back here. Let's take a better look at his head right there. So there you have it. His Everything looks robotic in nature except for his head, his tail that moves slightly, and his wings right here that are kind of textured and have the little fingers through them. 
if you didn't if you never saw an x-ray or the skeleton of a bat you should look at it online it's really cool because these are like fingers when their wings come out and the wings do flappy flappy and they slappy slappy so there you go right there and that is the weapon of choice right there but we'll open him up and we'll take out the little guy his little trainer right there as you can see right there get a little close up of him and we're going to transform our boy right here oh before we close that you just drop the head in this one was one of the older ones and i didn't really play with them that much when i was younger so this one's a little stiff still has been played with a lot as you can see the little heat sticker works still so first and foremost you would tuck the tail a little bit oh actually you don't tuck the tail but you bring these down and you fold it out fold that fold it out then you come up here you flip the feet out because you're going to need those then over here these actually spun around now this one is a little bit more movement than the other one we had the other like two weeks ago i think so then after you spin this to the front you then turn it around like so and you flip these back flip this back out and you got the little slide for the hands the little slide over here for the hands i need to go back and watch the old headmaster series and try to remember i know there was a reason why they did the headmasters and the weapon masters or i think it was weapon master i don't remember exactly what they were called but i forgot there was some reasoning behind it but i can't recall offhand what it was so I need to go back and watch and see why, because I can't remember for the life of me why they did that. So as you can see, our little trainer here does have a little slight movement. He's got the knees, the hips a little bit, but the legs are stuck together in his little arms. So there you go. And there's his head. There's mine wife's head. I like the guy's voice too. If you watch the old cartoon, the voice was pretty cool. So they slide him right there. And as you can see, each one of these... There's three different ones. That's what creates the little, um, scope or what did they call it again on the back? Let's see. I can't, I forgot. It is the built-in tech spec meter. So he has the little tech spec meter right there. And also put his gun in his hand there. He's got the classic Decepticon purple. So if you were really into purple in the 80s, you kind of got stuck on the Decepticon side, sorry. Anyway, you got your speed, your strength, and your intelligence right there. And then the chest folds back up. All the original stickers are still on there. As you can see right there, that's our man Mind Wipe. If you don't remember the cartoon, go back and listen to his voice. I liked his voice a lot. He was really cool. So as you can see here, the arms, we have some movement in the arms up and down. No elbow movement, no hand movement. Okay, it is just as limited. It's just not as limited in the leg area. It's more limited in the arm area than in the leg. Because the other one we did was limited with this leg movement. So, you do have some up and down action. The head is not going to move. You got some hip action. You got some... Okay, maybe you don't. You got a little bit of knee action and he actually sits weird in life because his knees bend in the opposite direction so he you know those weird chairs that you see he's the one that can actually fit on this a chair was actually made for him anyway so here you go right here that is our boy mind wipe and take a little close look let me get the gun off because i don't want it like hitting anything i just want to get a look at him and of course you tuck the tail he tucks his little tail right there so if you want to get a closer look at it, there you go right there. Try to get a look at everything there so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. So there you have it, people. Mind wipe. Out of all the headmasters, he was one of my favorites for sure. But let me get this over here. Eee. Come on, man. I don't want to hold his gun today for some reason. So there you have it, people. That is our Transformer Tuesday. 
with Mind Wipe. Hopefully this 1980s one does a little bit better than the last one. It didn't do a lot of views, but I figured I'd try once more before we move on. So there you have it. You have your Mind Wipe and your exclusive Nemesis Prime Limited Edition Funko Pop Shop. So thank you guys. Like always, thank you all for the subscriptions. And thank you always for watching. And like always, people, have a great, great day.